Good morning, good morning, brethren. How are you today? Here I am again. Okay, inspiring you. Here I am again, giving you my, my reflection on the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 22 to 30. So today is Tuesday, May 10, 2022, the fourth week of Easter. So we will now listen to the reading today, okay? From the Gospel of John. It was the time when the Feast of Dedication was being celebrated in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple walking up and down in the portico of Solomon. The Jews gathered round him and said, How much longer are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus replied, I have told you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name are my witness, but you do not believe because you are no sheep of mine. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life. They will never be lost and no one will ever steal them from me. The Father who gave them to me is greater than anyone. And no one can steal from the Father. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What a beautiful gospel reading today we have brothers and sisters yes jesus is reminding us who he is and what he is who who his father is and who jesus is with his father okay now i want you to reflect this question how can we encounter Jesus? Or shall I say, have you already encountered Jesus in your life, personally? Um, a, a, a witness of this Jesus in my life. He is real. He is real. Okay. One way of encountering Jesus is to follow what Jesus said in the Bible. If he says that he and his father are one, we have to trust him, you know, completely. And the other passages in the Bible have greatly strengthened this for the simple reason that all Jesus' words are not empty. Remember, Jesus' word is life. There is life in Jesus' word. That is why we have to believe what he told us. Now, what makes the believers distinct from those who do not believe in Jesus? Those who believe in him enjoy all the blessings that Jesus has. For example, those who believe in Jesus, their lives have changed and their faith has strengthened. And they, in turn, become agents of good change in their particular circumstances. Those who don't believe or take away Jesus at will are excluded from the mercy of the Spirit. And the life of their own faith is not strengthened. They are more vulnerable to the forces of evil, and they lack the spiritual resilience of the believers. Now, 
What's the secret that makes us believe in Jesus? I, I, I would say, I would say, first and foremost, we have to accept Jesus as our God and our Lord. You know, everything he teaches us in the scriptures must be accepted with confidence. Therefore, doubts don't have room anymore in our minds and in our hearts if there is Jesus in us. You know, once we do so, it will be the beginning of our new life with Jesus. In the reading of the gospel today, as we have heard, People were asking Jesus if he is the Christ, the one being sent by the Father. And yes, he showed them the signs and wonders, but these people would not believe in him. Why? Because for them, this Jesus is just an ordinary man, a son of a carpenter. He knew him very well as a human being. Now, the question is, do you believe in Jesus? I'm asking you this personally. By heart, tell, uh, tell yourself or ask yourself, do you believe in Jesus? If you do, you are blessed. You are blessed. Now, do, they, do these people believe in Jesus? No, they did not. They did not, even if they have already seen what Jesus had uh, made to them, the signs and wonders, still could, they could not see the God in Jesus. They could not believe that this man is the son of God. Because just for them, for them, this man is just an ordinary man. This Jesus is just, is just an ordinary man. Now, Let's move quickly to the present time of technology from Jesus' time, okay? You know, many people still do not believe in Jesus even until today. And they know, they know Jesus, they know the name of Jesus. But for them, this Jesus is just a myth. This Jesus is just obsolete. This Jesus is that real for them? And there is no personal contact with Jesus and there is no real confidence in Jesus because they do not believe in him. They are atheists. Now, the challenge ahead of us is simple and clear. Okay? We as Christians must, I would say, must learn to communicate and live our faith in Jesus, making this Jesus alive in our lives, making this Jesus not just an idea that is only found in the Bible, but a Jesus who is real and alive in our lives. When I, when, when I say alive in our lives, I mean to say, what I mean to say is this, that we have to make this Jesus be our role model. If Jesus loves the sinners, we also have to love sinners. If Jesus forgives, we also have to forgive. If Jesus shares his life to other people without counting the cost, then we are also challenged to do the same. And as a result, brethren, people who do not believe can now believe. And those who do not believe can now believe. For the reason that they see in Jesus in us. They see that Jesus is not, is not far away from them, but Jesus is in front of them. Jesus is alive because of us, because we are the witnesses of Jesus. We are bringing the name, name of Jesus into reality. Now the question is, will you share your trust 
in Jesus with others. Mm. <laughs> That's a big challenge for us. Now, brethren, talking about listening and recognizing the voice of the shepherd, we say that one has to have a deep sense of hearing. We cannot understand who this Jesus is and what kind of person this Jesus is, not unless we have that sense of hearing. Okay? Hearing the voice of the shepherd from within is very important. We need to recognize the voice of Jesus deep within because if not, then we will be lost. You know, in our society today, we could hear a lot of voices around, like the voice of drugs, the voice of corruption, the voice of immortality or immorality, envy, jealousy, pride, prestige, and so on and so forth. These are the voices that the world could offer us. Now, our society really is full of noise, full of voices. And that is why I believe it is not easy to listen to the silent, soft voice of our master, of our good shepherd, of this Jesus. In our current reality, you know, where there are so many pretending to be shepherds, it is very challenging to hear what the good shepherd is saying. We have to absorb the voice of the Good Shepherd and take it into our hearts so that we will always be able to listen keenly to it. And how can we do that? How? Brethren, we have to have a quality time for prayer. You know? Great silence deep within us is necessary. Now, do we need to spend quality time on prayer? Of course, we have to. When I say quality time on prayer, I mean, are we able to let God speak most of the time during our moments of silence, during our moments of our conversation with Him? And that is having an ear to listen to his voice clearly. In other words, do we really recognize and listen by heart to the voice of this good shepherd? You know, hearing the voice of the one who calls us involves silencing the other voices that loudly scream, hindering us from hearing the voice of God. We need to stop listening to this voice around us, okay? Outside of us. And through the continuous encounter with the Word of God, our faith can be more familiarized with the shepherd's voice. And that is why we need to read the Bible. Because in the Bible, there we hear the voice of God. In the Bible, there we are able to meet this Jesus. In the Bible, there Jesus is teaching us what to do and how to do things. Just like, you know, the Mother Mary, the Blessed Mary. She was able to say, fiat, yes to the will of the Father, because she listened. Okay, deep within her heart, the voice of God. That is why, because of her fiat, because of her yes, we are now being saved by Jesus. 
or not not being but we are now saved because of Jesus brethren i know that my sheep hear my voice and follow me john 10:27 hopefully we open our hearts and our minds and hear the voice of god so that we will be able to follow him heartily and fully brethren thank you for listening and i hope upon listening to this reflection you will make a decision to spend quality time for prayer so that you will be able to hear that silent voice of god talking to you deep inside your heart and that little by little your faith will grow and your relationship with jesus will be strengthened once again this is father chris mendoza of mary's little children community saying to you all let us serve the lord with joy and gladness all the days of our life thank you for listening and please subscribe and share this video with your friends and hope to see you again okay stay tuned and see you in my next video god bless us all god shower you all the graces that you need in your life amen see ya